So before starting, I think it's very important, you know, that founders chase a real problem instead of chasing, a, uh, instead of building a solution and finding a problem. You see this happening a lot of the times because especially in B2B, you have 80 to 90% chances of your product to change, but the problem will always be the same. So when there's a problem and you, when you, the founder identify a gap, it's gonna be there. Now you can find different ways of solving the problem, which will enable you to, to do a problem. When, when we started MAST, we knew there was a very big problem in industry, which is the processing of application. It takes so much time, okay? This is a problem. You as a consumer or a borrower, we have to wait 40, 50, 60, 70 days to get a decision or mortgage application. Um, that's a problem. That's a major problem we wanted to solve. And it, there's, in reality, there's not one solution. It's not, we're not going to be the only solution for that problem. We, we want to become a big part of the solution. But there's so many stakeholders involved that it's very hard to solve. But just attacking this, meaning that it gives us multiple angles to come and attack this problem. So once we start interviewing, you know, the ecosystem, you know, a lot of intermediaries and brokers, because the mortgage market is 80 to 90 percent intermediary, then all the banks and lenders and specialist lenders. Um, it took us 18 months, like nearly 12, 18 months to get our first bank for the simple reason that for an early stage startup, it's very hard to go from zero to one with a bank because there's a lot of data protection involved. There's a lot of infrastructure, um, tick boxes involved. The bank needs to know that you're capitalized enough that you're gonna survive. Um, so most, mo most of the time startups end up doing pilots that don't lead anywhere. And unless you're a repeat founder that has had major BVC backing, so you, you start an idea with five, 10, 15 million of investment, then the banks are a lot more confident to do business with you. Now, we, um, I, won't, I won't hide it in a way in a sense that I would say we persevered in trying to convince some, some people, you know, some of the banks to, to do a project with us. And timing and luck worked for us with our small lenders because our solution was perfectly solving a problem that was really imminent for them at the time. And for them, it was a low risk of giving it a try. So the, the, the stars aligned so that the timing worked. And I think this is very important because when you look at a lot of the businesses that happened in the last 10 years, they're very often not the first, you know, the first movers. It's because the first movers came and the timing was not right. And then when they came, then the timing was much better. And then either the customer was more, the, the, the environment was more mature and the market was more mature to receive this idea. And I think this is how we got started. And then luckily for us, we get the chance to build our product with direct feedback from the lenders we, we, we serve, uh, which hasn't been done much in the mortgage industry. And all the, the usual, the usual um, technology providers have all built things and then went to the banks with their skills. And we were like, we, we have a pretty good idea of what we want to build, but who better than our customers to tell us what they want in the product and do it as we go, um, which we think is amazing.